If you're a quarterback in the ACC, you better know where this player is at all time. We're talking about Clemson's fiercest pass rusher that's going to be on the squad this year. They call him the X-Man. We're talking about Xavier Thomas. Let's get it. Squad, mess with one of us. You ain't messing with my vision, messing with the money. You ain't messing What's up, guys. Welcome to NMD TV. No more defeats. TV. While we do is win, never take any losses. And shout out to all my bosses, guys. If you love college football, this is the channel for you because I talk about college football 24 7, guys. And today we're talking about the defending champions, the Clemson Tigers. And all through the offseason, I've heard several topics when you bring up Clemson. You could talk about uh, how good their offense is going to be. Trevor Lawrence, Travis Etienne, Justin Ross, they're going to be unstoppable, blah, blah, blah. Um, I've heard people talk about how good this last class was as several of their players got drafted in the first round, several of their players got drafted overall. But not a lot of people have been talking about Clemson's defensive line that they have come back, coming back. I think a lot of people think because Christian Wilkinson's gone, Cleveland Furl and all those guys are gone, they're going to fall off, but they're not going to fall off. And in particular, I think Clemson's going to have one of the best pass rushers in the nation next year, and that's going to be Xavier Thomas. 6'2", 260 pounds, sophomore. When you look at the film of this guy, this guy is great. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to break down the film, show you what this guy does for Clemson last year. 33 tackles, eight and a half tackles for loss, three and a half sacks as a reserve. Think about that, guys. That is a stat line as a reserve. And uh, and if you didn't know who Xavier Thomas was, you you better you better ask somebody. You better find out, and I'm gonna show you who they are. Let's pop in the first clip versus Syracuse, and I know you've seen this hit several times. I'm gonna let it play, and then we're gonna talk about it. Pass rushes, they gotta have great anticipation. You're gonna see, um, you're gonna see Xavier Thomas at the top of your screen. Just look at the get off, just so fast to get off the edge. If you look at him versus the tackle, he gets about a two, three steps before the tackle even moves, and he can't even get a hand on him. He can't even touch him because Xavier is so fast off the snap. Great anticipation by Xavier right there. Xavier really showed people he could rush the passer. Like I said, uh, eight and a half tackles for loss, 3.5 sacks just as a reserve, that's pretty good. But what I really like about him is he's not afraid of the run game. He's disciplined in the run game and he trusts himself and his eyes and his instincts in the run game. The play I'm gonna show you here is against NC State. And he's it's a three-man defensive line. It's just him versus the tackle the tackle tries to crash and they go head to head and he goes and blows up the play this is special because the play before you saw x standing up on the pass rush this time he has all hands into the ground able just to bull rush get in the backfield and make the play that straight power the tackle never stood a chance you're going against a young lineman like, like xavier thomas What's some things you want to do to kind of catch him off guard? You want to hit him with some zone reads, some misdirection, something to really get him out of loop here. And that's what Wake Forest tries to do here on a basically a jet sweep that turn, that could be turned into zone read. They're actually not going to block the end, which is Xavier Thomas. And watch what he does. He just makes the tackle. This is what you call great suddenness, suddenness of action. Trust your instinct. And making a play. You, do you know how many players I see that would see the quarterback start the zone read and get what they call cement feet? Like they can't move. They just freeze. And they let the offensive player make the first move and go. Xavier trusts his instincts, puts the pressure on them, makes the tackle. And then you get a two, three yard loss because he didn't get caught up trying to think. He trusted his instincts, stayed disciplined, and had the suddenness 
to attack on this play. Like I said, guys, I can show you several different plays of him just busting up the defensive backfield, the offensive backfield as a pass rusher. But this guy is definitely more than that when you really break down his film bit by bit. Um, another special thing about Xavier is how many defensive linemen do you see on special teams? How many? Not only that, he's on special teams. He makes an impact on special teams. Several big hits, several tackles. When you really look at this guy's highlights and his film, he's all over the field and he plays where he can play. I've looked up several interviews and I like what this guy stands for and what he believes. He even said, you know, um, coming into Clemson as a five star, I was thankful for the opportunity to uh, get to play here. You know, this guy could have started at several different places. I believe South Carolina recruited him. He would start right away there, I believe. Wrap this bad boy up. Um, the good things about Xavier is quick, explosive, fast, and strong. Good get off, good suddenness, and always in attack mode. Some things that you can work on to become better, to be a better player is uh, he's going to have to work on his conditioning. And I say that because he's going to become a full-time starter uh, next year. So, of course, that only makes sense. He's going to be playing a lot more. Conditioning has to be on point. And when he gets blocked, will he have a second or third move he can go to? Um, because we know his speed is going to always be there. His quickness is going to be all, always be there. But if somebody's good enough to take that away, will he have a secondary move to work on? Xavier will be one of the best pass rushers in the nation. And like I said, he's going to be Clemson breakout player for the people who didn't already know about this guy. Uh, keep an eye out on him. I did do a video on Clemson's impact player for the upcoming season. Make sure you check that out. That's going to be on the screen for you right there. Thanks for watching. I'm out. And as always, guys, no more defeats.